All right. Okay. If the school vans were powered on ethanol, that's my van, uh, they would have a mileage of about 11 miles per gallon. I'm going to write that down. 11 miles per one gallon, which is actually ethanol-based vehicles have a slightly less, slightly lower um, fuel efficiency. Hmm, interesting fact. Anyway, using the balanced equation of the combustion of ethanol above, which I have, and I'm going to write down quickly, C2H6O plus 3O2, react to get 2CO2 plus 3H2O. Very nice. Okay. Calculate how many grams of full 14-gallon gas tank, oh, gas tank? A uh, 14 gallon gas tank of ethanol weighs. Oh, I don't even need this equation then. We're going from gallon to, uh, to weight. Oh, I should have said weight in grams. Hmm. Well, actually, that's, that's, that's kind of implied, but we'll see how this goes here. Well, is there something that gives us that converts from gallon, which is a volume? to grams, which is a weight. All right, so we have gallon. I okay, can go gallon to liter, which is nice. But take a look at this. We've got milliliter to gram. Oh. So this right here is the density. So the density tells us that this many grams is one milliliter. Okay. So let's see. If we could get it to milliliter, can't we get it to gram? Absolutely. So milliliter to gram, no problem. And it looks like we have gallon to liter. So I'm gonna draw a little another arrow here. So can we go gallon to liter? And then can we go from liter to milliliter? Absolutely. The key to this is knowing that, that there's always one, one tool that gets us from changing one kind of measurement to the other. So this is the volume, this is the weight. And this here translates both. It's, the, it's a perfect conversion factor. It converts from one unit kind of unit to the next. And we know that that's going to be used right here, density, to go from milliliter to gram. So all we got to do is bring the horse to water, change gallon to liter, liter to milliliter, and then we're home free. So let's just do that. Let's start off with the gallons. Always start off with the number that they give you. If you're confused, uh, you know, any of these numbers, miles per gallon, whatever the whole thing, just write it out and you'll see if that's a conversion factor, you know it's a tool. So here we go, 14 gallons of C2H6O, okay? And we're gonna set it up here. So we're gonna go gallon to liter. So gallon to liter, and then we have to go from liter to milliliter. And then we'll go from milliliter to gram. Okay, and that should give us, in the end, the grams of ethanol, C2H6O. All right, so let's do the conversion factors. Gallon to liter, what do we got here? One US gallon is three point, oh, well, that's a big number. Let's round some off, 3.785. You can use the whole number if you want, but I don't know. After four or five, it's not really, doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, milliliter to liter, how many milliliters in a liter? Milla is a small number, liter is a big one. One liter has a thousand. If you didn't know, well, something you should know, look it up. Now milligram, mill, milliliters to grams. There it is. 0.789 grams is one milliliter. And that's the specific density for ethanol. You see how it's less than water, which is one gram per milliliter? Because of it, ethanol would float on the top of water. So most oils actually float on the top of water, and then you can light them on fire. Um, well, you shouldn't do that, but like if there's like an oil spill and they light it on fire and you see the fire on top of the water, it's kind of cool. Uh, at any rate, uh, don't, <laughs> don't try it at home, kids. At any rate, here we go. So let's, uh, let's do the math. This times this times this times this. Hey, divided by one by one by one. Glorious. Easy to do. And you do it in your calculator and you get something like 41,813.5285. Well, how many significant digits do I have here? I got two again. It's the definition. Definition. It's a, kind of a measurement because it's a specific one. That has three. Um, 
So really the limiting one is two. So our answer has to be in two significant digits. So we can call this 42,000 grams. Or even better to show the significant digits, uh, 4.2 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 to the 4th grams of C2H6O. Okay, there you go.